Okay, this is going to be screencast one for unit two, lesson two, and I'm on page 90. So everybody follow along with me. What kinds of data do scientists collect and record? Well, a scientific investigation begins with a question and ends with a claim or conclusion. However, before scientists can make any claims or draw any conclusions, they must first collect data. Data are pieces of information gathered through observation or experimentation. That's one of your vocabulary words, I believe. The collection of data forms the basis for all science. There are two types of data, qualitative and quantitative. All right, first red subheading, qualitative data. All right, how would you describe the scene outside your school? Your observations might include information such as color of the sky or what students are doing. Um, these observations are qualitative data. Qualitative data are observations not expressed as a number or quantity. Okay? Scientists collect qualitative data by seeing, hearing, smelling, tasting, or feeling. In an investigation of water quality in a local pond, qualitative data might include uh, the way the water smells or looks. Scientists may collect qualitative data and record their observations in a lab notebook or a journal by writing out a description or by using a labeled drawing or graphic organizer. Okay? The big thing you need to remember about qualitative data is that you are describing with words the qualities of a you know of an object or a, or a situation okay all right the second red subheading is quantitative okay quantitative data are observations that include a number for example if you observed that there were six students at band practice then that would be an example of quantitative data Measurements are a type of quantitative data. A measurement is something that includes a number and a unit, such as 42 kilograms or 16 seconds. Measurement also refers to the process of obtaining a quantitative description of something. Um, for instance, for the water quality investigation, quantitative data might include the measurements of temperature or density of the water sample, Scientists use many scientific tools to collect quantitative data, including meter sticks, thermometers, stopwatches, balances, and even computers. Okay, so before I even go back and add the highlighting on number five, how do qualitative data differ from quantitative data? Qualitative data is what, guys? Not expressed by numbers, and it's qual qualitative describes qualities. It's a description, okay? Whereas quantitative, think of the word quantity, which refers to how many, a number, okay? So qualitative data, you're talking about something's qualities. You're describing it. Quantitative data, you are counting or measuring something. Okay, so now that I've highlighted a couple things, let me draw your attention to what I highlighted because ugh, the brightness on this is just bleh, out of whack. All right, so the first paragraph I highlighted where it says data are pieces of information gathered through observation or experimentation. I also highlighted the last sentence that says there are two types of data, qualitative and quantitative. First red heading, qualitative data. I put an arrow out to the side and reminded myself that that means descriptions, okay, data that are descriptions. Okay, I highlighted the sentence that said qualitative data are observations not expressed as a number or quantity. And I also highlighted the last sentence which says scientists may collect qualitative data and record their observations in a lab notebook or a journal by writing out a description or by using a labeled drawing or graphic organizer. Second red heading, quantitative data. I put an arrow over there. Um, this is data that you would get by either counting or making a measurement. So quantitative data are observations that include a number. Okay, and then I highlighted a measurement is something that includes a number and a unit such as 42 kilograms for 16 seconds. All right. All right, let's go to 91 and let's do a couple of examples. 
Um, this is actually doing number seven with you. It says, look out the window, blah, 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 make two qualitative observations and two quantitative observations about the scene. All right. Observation A, the fountain sprays water five meters upward. Is that quantitative or qualitative? It's quantitative. Did it include a number? Yes. Some of the people in the park are playing. Qualitative, because that's just a description of what's going on. There are no numbers involved with that statement. C, the leaves of the plants are green. That is qualitative. Again, that is just a description. It does not involve numbers. There are two benches along the park path. Quantitative, why? Because you counted something. It involves a number. 